The non-governmental organization regulatory bill before the National Assembly has lately been generating buzz and comments both on social media and in public discourse. Most of the controversies surrounding the bill are based on speculations that it seeks to limit the activities of non-governmental organizations, including civil society and religious bodies. However, lawmakers have also been trying to explain the NGO bill, including the Chairman House Committee on CSOs and Development Partners, Mr. Peter Matteson. According to him, the bill is necessary to check the activities of groups of individuals masquerading as NGOs. But the former chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, Governing Council, Professor Chidio Dinkalu, disagrees. And both of them were guests on our breakfast show, Sunrise Daily. The intent of this document is to, um, in the first place, provide something that looks like a clearinghouse for the activities of civil society organizations, registration and coordination and harmonization and all that with a view to promoting transparency, accountability, local content, and also to, to prevent the, the unlikely event of some powers or individuals locally or internationally using NGOs to promote um, terrorist activities, and also money laundering. In 2011, the federal government set up the Gadget Girl to Marie uh, 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 panel into the insecurity in the Northeast. The Gadget Girl to Marie panel reported in September 2011. And what they found was that the people who were fund sponsoring Boko Haram were in government. They were in politics. They were identified. There was a white paper issued on the Gadget Girl to Marie Community Report. Nobody has been brought to book. Those people are still there in government. Now, people will come and bring up all this red herring about civil society terrorists, and you really want to believe it. Yes? But that is not just nonsense. It is certifiable nonsense. And I'll ask you the question. If there is a government, and it actually has evidence that people are masquerading as civil society to perpetrate terrorist activities, what would it do? Would it not shut them down? You need a new law to shut them down? Is that exactly the point? That does not make sense.